Welcome to the Unknown Humans Remain introductory episode. My name is Christine Burke. I'm a forensic genetic genealogist, investigator, law enforcement expert witness, law enforcement trainer, and I'm a former police officer, detective, and sergeant. I don't even know where to begin. It's kind of quiet. I don't even know where to begin. And so the first thing you might be thinking is, did, did I hear that right? Because typically we hear unknown human remains, if you even hear about that. And I decided to have a catchy title to it, uh, but it's the truth. We have, we have unknown humans and they remain. And I don't even know if to call this a podcast, but I'm compelled to get the word out. So what am I talking about? Well, did you know that there are 14,394 as of today, unidentified deceased persons across the United States? I don't even know if they're all in the morgues or if they're buried in unmarked graves or what's happened to them. These people are mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, children. And I'm bothered. I'm bothered if you can't tell by my voice, I'm bothered. And my goal, our goal, is to speak for all of them and get them identified using genetic genealogy if possible. So so what is this? Why am I talking about this? Well, because nobody else seems to be. And that's why I called it this, unknown humans. We have a crap ton of unknown humans remaining to be identified, to be buried or sent on in peace to have answers for their family members, to find out what happened to them. Basic human decency, I think. So is this a podcast? I don't know. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it because it seems that nobody else is. And it's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. If you don't know me, I I do a lot of things related to, as, as I mentioned, I'm a former cop. And currently I train police and people how to use genetic genealogy to identify persons of interest, either biological family or suspects or unknown human remains. And as I was assisting not too long ago, an agency, I was looking through this database. I was always aware of the database. I just wasn't as appalled as I am about how many people there are in it, uh, in this, in this condition, these unknown humans who remain. Anyhow, I came across this and as I do, uh, using genetic genealogy, if you're not familiar with it, it's super fabulous. I I can usually find people in a few hours, days, or weeks. And that's what started me on this road to helping law enforcement. Because if I can find a father in a few hours, I can find a killer too. And God bless all these poor people that are dead and unidentified. It's, it's, as I mentioned, it's disgusting. It's disgusting, it's deplorable, and it's depressing. And recently, I assisted on this case where we had some bones. The, the department, the agency, the law enforcement agency had some bones. And, well, they've got more, more than one set of bones. But, of course, money, money is an object. Not enough money not enough time, not enough caring, who knows. But they had these bones, and I offered to help. I said, let's get this person identified. And I did, in two days, with genetic genealogy. This poor man was missing over 30 plus years. His family had no answers. 
that's what I'm here for. That's what I want to talk to you about. As I mentioned, I don't know if this is a podcast. I don't know what it is. But back in the day, we used to have missing people and crime alerts and things on milk cartons. And I don't have the statistics on how effective it was, but I remember seeing it all the time. And now in this day and age of everything everywhere, the internet everywhere, you know, 8,000 social media channels, TikTok and the like, how is this happening that we have all these people that are unidentified? I understand the budget part. Well, I I don't understand the budget part because nobody should be defunding the police. But I don't understand how we have this many people and what, nobody's looking for them or I don't, I don't know. I I just, I was astounded and appalled Uh, and I had to do something. That's the kind of person I am. And so here I am talking to you, trying to bring attention to this. (laughs) And my goal here basically is to do little short podcast episodes highlighting these poor people and trying to raise funds so that we can put them to rest properly and get answers for their family. So what do we do? Well, I need your help. I need your help. I cannot, I cannot, you guys don't know me, but I cannot ignore this. And For those of you that like to help and those of you that like to get involved and those of you that like to make a difference and those of you that have the funds and are willing and able to help, please help us. All right, here's here's a little bit of the background and how it works and what I'm thinking that you can do, right? We want to make it, oh gosh, it's, it's horrible, talking about how somebody died Uh, to make it exciting and interesting and newsworthy. And so somebody gives a hoot, but that's it. That's, that's, I I don't know what else to do. I don't have all the money to help all these people, but let's see what we can do. Let's see what together we can speak for these people and, and give them some basic human decency. Thank you so much for your time and listening to something for me that is so important. And I want to talk about how you can get involved and you can be part of the solution and you can get answers for all these families and speak for these poor people that can't speak for themselves. So get involved by liking and subscribing on this video, uh, wherever the platform is that you're seeing it or hearing it. If it's in podcast or in video format, um, please like and subscribe to it. That will help get us in front of more people. You can join our community. I have an Everything Genetic Genealogy community. And the website for that is, okay, the pause button to the rescue. It is christineburke.podia.com. And this is a community uh, for way more things. Uh, It is everything genetic genealogy, uh, aside from the unknown humans remain. But we have a special section there. We have a special private community where we're going to talk about these cases. We're going to discuss how we're working on them and look for solutions. And it's where you can get together with other people that are interested in the same topics Uh, As I mentioned, the community is everything about genetic genealogy, but we're going to have a private area just for uh, this Unknown Humans initiative. So I would invite you to join when you go to christineburke.podia.com. You will see I've got the icon there for the Everything Genetic Genealogy community. It is free to join us. Um, Like I said, it has way more than this. Also, just asking you to spread the word. Uh, If you're troubled by this, if you're appalled about this like I am, I I hope that one of these folks is not one of your family members, uh, but imagine if it was. So please like, share, spread the word, talk to people about this so that we can come up with solutions, uh, making people aware of this so that we can, again, get some dignity and respect for these people. 
So that's it. That's all for now. Again, thank you so much and look forward to the upcoming episodes. Got a lot of, (laughs) unfortunately, um, we've got a lot of people to help, but some very, very interesting stories. And I truly, truly believe that we can get this done quicker than we think it can. So thank you again so much.